Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about auto sync and auto sync count. Um, what are they? How can they um, help you improve the performance? Uh, and what are the basically benefit of auto sync? So, before we start, um, as always, if you want to get Superpower Chat GPT, first thing you need to do is to go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link, it will send you to this page where there is a button that says Add to Chrome. Click on this button and it will install the extension on your browser. Once you install the extension, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and you'll start to see all the new features. You can see here we have folders, the top nav bar, community prompt, gallery, all these features, which I've talked about in other videos. But uh, let's talk about auto sync and auto sync count. So, First, what is AutoSync? I've talked about AutoSync in another video, but I'm going to give you a quick overview of AutoSync. AutoSync basically allows you to copy a, um, like download a copy of every conversation you had with ChatGPT into your computer. Why would you need to do that? Um, the reason you need to do something like that is that if you don't have the uh, auto sync on, you won't be having a copy of every chat in your computer and you won't be able to search your conversation. Auto sync was initially introduced into Superpower Chat GPT, to, chat GPT to enable some specific features, like right? creating folders or searching your conversation. Without auto sync, you won't have all of your chats into your computer and you won't be able to like create folders. You won't be able to like search your conversation because all of these things are saved in uh, chat GPT database and there is no API to like, for example, search your conversation or like you won't be able to create folders because if you don't have all of your chats in, in your um, computer, then how can you create folders? Th those chats won't be here. Now, because of that, because AutoSync download all of your chats into your computer, and some users have hundreds or sometimes like over a thousand chats, it can um, affect the performance of like the page because you're loading all of your chats uh, at one time into ChatGPT. Now, to fix that problem, we added uh, a new feature. We introduced a new feature that, uh, a few weeks ago called AutoSync Count. With auto sync count, you're basically you basically have the option to tell ChatGPT how many of your conversation, most recent conversation, you want to sync. This allows you to instead of like syncing all of your hun multiple hundreds or thousands of your conversation, allows you to just simply sync, for example, the most recent 100 or 200 or 300 chats. So. By default, when you first install uh, Superpower Chat GPT, this number is set to 100, meaning that only your most recent 100 conversation will be synced into Chat GPT. That being said, you can always change this number to a higher number or even set it to all of your chat. So don't worry about like that number, the default 100. If you want to change that number, you can always um, make the change. Now, um. Where do you set auto sync? So um, you go to the setting. There is a menu uh, tab up here called uh, auto sync. Under auto sync, you see all these different uh, auto sync options. You have the auto sync. You have the auto sync count. Like I said, the default is set to one hundred. You can change this if you want to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or the last option is all your chat. So anywhere from zero to 900 and then the last option will be all of your chats. Once you change this to a number, like let's say 500, it will show you a, a um, confirmation pop-up. You're changing auto sync from 100 to 500 and it will ask you to confirm this. Once you confirm this, the page with refresh will refresh and it will try to sync the, the other 400 that is that weren't like synced in, in here yet. So like if I'm at 100, change it to, five, to 500, it will try to sync another 400 of my old chats here. Might take a little bit, a few minutes to, to do all the sync, but it will do that after uh, 
you click on confirm. Now I'm not going to click on confirm. Uh, another uh, thing you can see here, down here, it this gold not number in gold. This number shows the total number of your conversation. Like here, I have 514 conversation, but my auto sync is always set to 100. That means that. I will only see my 100 most recent conversation in the chat history on the sidebar. Anything beyond that, it will it, I won't see. So let's say I have 100 chat. I create a new chat, 101. After I, I refresh the page, my oldest chat will be removed from this history or, or it will be hidden from the history it won't be like it won't be deleted you can always see it later but i won't see it in in my history and uh, the new one will replace the the oldest one so if i if i have 100 chats i add five new chat as soon as i refresh the five oldest chats will be pushed out of the history and the five new one will replace them at the top of the history so that's how auto sync count work auto sync count is in a way kind of similar to the auto archive but uh, i would argue that it's even better than the auto archive because with auto archive you have to archive chat or you can even turn it on to archive chat but unarchiving chat is like kind of time consuming and you have to do it manually one by one the pro the nice thing about auto sync is that as soon as you change this number to another number it will automatically try to sync those and after that that number is set to from 100 to 200 for example so it's faster i would say than the um the auto archive um, feature um, so i highly recommend using this um the Usually, I recommend everyone to keep the auto sync count under like 200 to 300 ish uh, to have the best performance. But depending on your computer, what machine you have, you can try to change the auto sync uh, like one level at a time, like go from 100 to 200 and confirm it, sync your chats watch the performance see how the how the chat works if the performance is okay you can go a little higher or or no you can just stop at any time i personally like to keep it at 100 uh because that's the best performance and i always see like the most recent history um in in my in my conversation also i never really look at any chat beyond 100 like i probably i mostly actually look at like the very recent chats that I have. So I like it at this number. Another option is that I also kind of like is setting auto sync to zero. If I set auto sync to zero, what happens is every time I open chat GPT, I can have as many conversations as I want. And all those conversations will be shown in the history. But as soon as I refresh the page, all those conversations will be hidden. I won't see any of those conversations anymore. And it's like a a brand new clean chat gpt so it's a zero is actually the best performance but you won't see any like if as every time you refresh you won't see your history unless you change the auto sync count again this number you can always change change this number just because you set it to zero doesn't mean that your chats are being deleted they are just not being shown in the history you can always change that and see those chats later so zero is an, an a good way to always have like a clean slate when you are like refreshing the page it's like like using chat gpt like google every time you go to google you have like a clean slate you do your search and then next time again everything is clean from the beginning you do your search so another good option um, is using zero as the auto sync count uh, but depending on, on what you like you can you can decide which option you like so this is the um auto sync count um you can again um you can use the auto sync count with auto sync um we need the auto sync to be able to like i don't know create folder search history do those type of things um auto sync count is a recent feature to improve performance with auto sync um one uh thing to note here is that if you have let's say you have some folders uh in your history like here i have multiple folders and um, you have some of your older chats saved into these folders. Let's say you have 100 chats, 
and like one of your old your oldest chat is in one of these these folders right if you create a new chat from 100 and you go to 101 the oldest chat has to be removed from the history and that chat is saved in this folder so like it can basically cause the fold the chat to be removed which in turn would show like instead of showing one chat here on this folder it will show zero chat on this folder so sometimes you might notice that you see a folder that the folder is now empty that is the reason or at least one of the reason that it, it folder could be empty is because you have the auto sync set as like a hundred or a low number and you are now you we have created more more conversation that than your auto sync count so those uh, older one gets pushed out of your history and the folder might look empty or you might notice that there is a conversation missing from one of those folders so if that happens that is the reason the way to prevent that is by increasing the auto sync count or just let them be removed cuz maybe you don't need those chats anymore. So that's one thing to remember about the auto sync count. So this is the auto sync uh, count um, feature. Um, give it a try. Let me know what you think and hope this is helpful. Thank you.